Hello YouTube. Good morning. Here we are. We have ourselves a start to a day. A day that's been uh, coming for uh, a great many years. A day that, uh, well, I've been trying to get to going and struggling and finally we have reached it. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, you remember the old uh, Beachcomber uh, B15 trailer. Um, it appeared in a few of the vlogs, uh, some Maxwell's World videos. And uh, I had it since uh, 2011 and sold it in, uh, I believe it was 2016. And uh, over those years, uh, it was fun for the first couple of years to use. Uh, probably camped in it about uh, five or six times. Uh, then it uh, developed more of a serious uh, water leak. Um, it was wet when I bought it. However, uh, the leaks that it did have, I thought that I plugged. Apparently, I didn't. So the water uh, leak got worse and worse and worse in that trailer especially once it sat for 2012 and in 2013 I went to go dig it out and uh, found that well it had some serious problems and that was when I embarked on the journey to uh, well tear it all down and rebuild it however um, once the obvious costs started to mount um, cost of painting, cost of getting a professional to weld up the frame, cost of uh, rebuilding it, and the fact that the parts were very, very scarce. I came to the conclusion that it wasn't worth rebuilding. So, like I said there, in the uh, fall, I believe, of 16, I decided to uh, cut the trailer loose. And for roughly the same money that I would have spent uh, restoring or rebuilding that smaller fiberglass uh, so-called lightweight trailer, I got this one here. Uh, it is larger and uh, all aluminum and um, should be uh, a good trailer for what I want to do. And it's lighter, it's uh, lighter on the weight side of things than what the Beachcomber ever uh, could have been. So that's what I've been working on in the last uh, few months on the vlog uh, when I've been talking about the project and uh, such. Well, it's not done by far. It's not uh, finished. I wish I could have got more done on it. However, uh, today is the first maiden voyage of this here trailer. Uh, there's no reason why it uh, can't or shouldn't perform the way well, it needs to, because, well, um, doing the big, big road trip, uh, bringing it home, uh, it got the kilometers, so it tows very, very well. And it is very, very well um, sealed for the rain, which the storms the last, uh, you know, two months have proved that. And it has the basic bed and the countertop in it. I would show you guys right now, however, uh, keys are locked in the house. <laughs> Um, I need to run out today and uh, do a few things. Uh, check the fan mailbox, I stop by the Princess Auto. Um, I got a list of things that I need to do and before you know it, it'll be time to hit her on out. That first run of the season is always the toughest, obviously. And after that first run is over with, then you know what you need, know what you don't need and uh, pick up and get rid of things and it all starts to go smooth. Realistically, I would have liked to have already had it out once or twice by now, but hey, um, you know, you started late in the season uh, building it, and then other things came up along that you had to deal with in the meantime, which kind of puts you behind. And, well, it kind of is. Uh, life is what it is, right? So guys, gonna strike on out, do a couple of things, and you guessed her. 
probably see y'all right back here later. Well, went down to the old Princess Auto, yeah, looking for some goodies. And, uh, well, they didn't have uh, all of what I was looking for. And some of the stuff I found uh, was actually damaged. <laughs> wasn't worth uh, wasn't worth buying I bought one of those portable uh, battery banks or battery sticks you know the kind of thing you charge up and when you need it you plug your phone in to give it a, a extra dose of juice well I took it out of the package went to go plug it on in and sometime in its life between China and here uh, it's been wet the cardboard box looked fine to me, but the inside contacts that you plug the USB into was all corroded, like rusty, right? So it was like, really? <laughs> They're selling this kind of junk? And there was four or five other items that I would have bought when I was there that they plain didn't have. I found that the last few times they've had items that were in the flyer that were a deal or that were eye-catchy and you go down there and, and the day of the sale, oh no, we don't have that in stock. Well, when are you getting it in? Oh, it's a special buy. Well, you never did have it in. And you come back a couple days later thinking, okay, it's on the next truck. No, it's not, you know. And it's, it's, uh, it's very frustrating. Plus, uh, unless you're aware of the sale prices, the, uh, their tags or their shelf tags are very out to date as well because they don't reflect the sale prices anymore and some of the stuff is not even tagged uh, with the price on it either so whatever's going on in that store needs to uh, stop at one time I liked our Princess Auto but over the last few months they uh, they're slipping I don't know if they're hiring the wrong kind of staff you know, maybe staff that can't read printouts, can't read computers, don't un don't understand the retail industry, or or what. But uh, there's definitely an issue there that they need to solve. So, anyways, of course, went and uh, fueled up the truck. There still is a couple other little things that I want, but I'll probably make a, a run out. A little bit uh, later in another couple hours to pick it on up uh, right now I'm just trying to decide if I want to fight with uh, some rusty uh, nuts or just uh, use the new ones that I've bought once again I've bought two of the inserts for the trailer hitch uh, this one here is like a six inch drop and this one here is like a three inch drop the one that I bought that is pretty much uh, straight in on the truck is about six inches too high to be honest with you and the one that I have already is about uh, three inches too high so the way I figure is if I put the six inch one in there it either is going to be too low or it'll be just right however I need to get the truck up the front driveway and uh, size it all up first to make sure well it looks good and then put the ball on make sure it's good and tight and around we roll there still is one or two more things that I want to put uh, in the truck I got um, a road kit that I want to take there's a lug wrench I need to track down uh, I do have the scissor jack so that will work for uh, emergency uh, obviously got a spare tire and a few things like that the first camping trip of the season is always the rough one after that you kind of get a list you kind of get a rhythm and things go pretty decent well this time around uh, new trailer same camping gear and uh, well we're gonna see how it goes the uh, truck is more than capable of uh, towing the trailer so pretty much hook her on and make sure everything's good to roll and well pointer east and around we go so of course guys going to get a few more things done and we'll probably do another check-in or so uh, before we leave town okay guys so here we go well made her up to the uh, campsite here uh, probably about an hour ago just got uh, nicely set up and everything <clears throat> got the truck backed in 
to uh, its resting spot. And of course got the trailer uh, backed into its resting spot as well. Had time to put the awning up and a couple things like that. Got the uh, tabletop barbecue out. Just thinking about uh, what to make for supper. Got a few things, a few choices. Do I want to eat heavy or save that for tomorrow? Depends on how, uh, how it goes in that. Well, I uh, bought some wood to light a fire. However, I'm not sure if the fire is going to happen tonight or if it's going to hold off till tomorrow because they are calling for rain, but again, that is, uh, well, the way she goes. So, going to try to enjoy the evening here and, uh, well, probably see y'all when it's dark. Huh? I know it's the next day and all, but I'm going to end this here vlog here or else it'll kind of run on together and you won't be able to tell uh, one day from the next. Well, as you've seen, I got everything uh, going in the trailer. It wasn't exactly the way I visioned it to be for the first run out. However, hey, it uh, it is a run. Pulled into the campsite here, got all set up, ended up having a good old supper. I uh, sat around for a bit and, uh, well, ended up crashing. Uh, no fire tonight or nothing. Um, just kind of the way she was and around we go. Well, tomorrow, of course, is going to be the first full day of actual camping. We'll have to see how uh, things turn on out. They are calling for rain, so we'll see how it goes. And around we roll. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.